I want to start off by asking the audience a question. How many of you consider yourselves leaders? See, I've asked this question all across the country, and no matter where and when I ask it, there's a large part of the audience that doesn't raise their hand. And I've come to realize, we've made leadership something bigger than us, something beyond us. We've taken this title of leader and treated it as if someday we are going to deserve. But giving it to ourselves right now, we should just contribute to our egos. We've made it about changing the world. Dr. Seuss once said, sometimes you never understand the value of moments until they get turned into memories. Dr. Drew Dudley is an author, writer, and professional speaker who states in his award-winning TED Talk to redefine leadership in a way that makes us all happier. His TED Talk, The Lollipop Moment, received millions of views and inspired many to go on their own quests, finding their own lollipop moments. The Lollipop Moment by Drew Dudley. I went to a small school called Mount Allison University. And on my last day there, a girl came up to me and said, you don't know me, but I know you and I've been following you for four years and you have changed my life. See, I've heard about stalkers, but never, never really had a first-hand experience with one. And I'm not going to lie, the term restraining order popped into my head. And just then, when I was going to run to the nearest emergency call box, that's when she started to tell me a story. A story that happened four years earlier to a girl that was going off to college. First day on campus, she was a wreck, crying, hysterical, and insisting she had to go home. Parents were torn. Would they keep her child and let her experience the world? Bring her home and continue shielding her from it. And just then, when they're potentially going to be making a life altering decision, that's when they saw a crazy guy with a bucket full of lollipops. He walked right past the girl and stopped right in front of her and just looked at her. And it was creepy. And then as if he knew everything, he turned to the young man standing next to the girl, took out a lollipop and said, You, take this lollipop and give it to the beautiful young woman standing next to you. Do it now. And the girl has never seen anyone turn this beet red in her life. I mean, the guy wouldn't even look at her when handed the lollipop, kind of like... The funny thing is... She took it. And then the crazy guy with the bucket full of lollipops had this incredibly severe look on his face. Turned to the girl's parents and said, Oh my God, look at that, look at that. Not even a day away from home, she's already stealing candy from strangers. And everybody lost it. 20 feet in every direction, everyone started to howl. And at that moment, that man, seem wise beyond his years. He turned to the young girl's parents and said, you may not know me, but trust me when I say this, everything will be just fine. And then he left. And see, this is a touching story, but how does this apply to me? The girl said, don't you see the parallels? crazy guy with the bucket full of lollipops was you. The timid girl was me. I never met you once in the four years that I've been here. I heard you were leaving today, and I've had to tell you, you have been such an important person in my life. Thank you. Saying this, she shakes my hand and walks away. Getting only six feet far, she turned back and says, you should probably know this. I'm still dating that guy four years later. A year and a half later, I get invited to their wedding. But here's the kicker. I don't remember that. No, like I seriously have no recollection of that moment. And I've searched my memory banks, because that is funny. And I should remember doing it, but I don't. And it's really an eye-opening and transformative moment for me to 
think that the biggest impact that I've had on anyone's life, an impact so large that a person comes up to you four years later and says, you have been one of the most important people in my life. It's a moment I didn't even remember. So how does this apply to leadership? See, leadership is the art of taking seemingly insignificant moments and making them significant. How many of you have had a lollipop moment in which someone said or did something that fundamentally changed the way that you lived your life? How many of you have told that person what they did? The question is, why not? We celebrate birthdays where all you have to do is not die for 365 days. Yet, we fail to tell the people that have changed our lives for the better how much they mean to us. I could have. What does this phrase mean? At any point in our life, there are things that we could have done, but didn't. And these magic moments go unexpected, and then poof, a handful of destiny changes everything. But every single one of you, every single one of you are a catalyst of a lollipop moment. Even if you think you haven't, think again. Remember all those hands that didn't go up when I asked the last question? It's not that you don't understand, rather that you haven't been told. But it can be scary to think of ourselves to be that powerful. It can be scary to think about how much we matter in other people's lives. But as long as we make leadership something bigger than us, something beyond us, something about changing the world, we give ourselves an excuse to not expect it from ourselves, from each other. Miriam Williamson said, our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our greatest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is not the light, but rather the dark that frightens us. My call to action today is, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that fear and go beyond it. <coughs> so that one day, our little brothers, our little sisters, and one day even our parents can truly understand the value we have in other people's lives. Let's redefine leadership on these lollipop moments. How many of them we can create? How many of them we can acknowledge? How many of them we can thank for? Leadership isn't about changing the world. There is no world at all. There are only seven billion understandings of it. And if you change one person's understanding of what they're capable of, one person's understanding of how powerful an agent of change they are, one person's understanding of how much people care about them, you've changed the whole thing. See, and if we can redefine leadership like that, and if we can understand leadership like that, we can change everything. See, this is a simple idea, but definitely not a small one.